Hey guys, Dan the Mole and I are up here in Bristol and we just came across this newer dump, but there's a pile of license plates. Yeah. Look at them all. Look at this, it's a stack right here. I know. Wow. Yeah, boat plates probably. Trailers or boats. Sorry, I was sideways. All right, I'm gonna gather up as many as we can. Some over there too. It's gonna be the most license, license place we've ever seen in one spot. Roached. Roached. That one might come up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Fancy. There's a plate uh, frame right there. What's that say on it? Edmund Motors, Lumberton, North Carolina. Huh. It's a little ways from home. Right. Oh, it says, oh, that's neat. DeSoto and Plymouth on it. Bent crinkled. There's another 68 right there too. So we get some pudding. Oh. <laughs> Still can done that. That Vermont. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah. You taking any of them? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take those few, I guess. Cool. Wonder what that cast iron is under there. It's a stand of some kind. Alright. This is definitely not the dump we're used to digging in. But just seeing these old plates is kind of cool. What do you got there? Award for Outstanding Service, American Motorist Member, 3% Club. No way! Gold. That's cool. Yeah, man. Made it like grass, dude. Now there's a find right there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wow, I'm glad I was rolling on that. Alright, I gotta put these down. There's an Atlas jar down there with some schmeg in it. All right, I'm gonna dig around a little bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a shot of the t tally of the license plates that we pulled out of the ground. There is still probably more, but look at this. He's got a milk crate and he filled it up with a bunch of uh, plates. I got a couple in there, and then we just kind of threw the ones that we didn't want back over here. spread out on this log. Look at that pile of license plates. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mostly uh, mostly New Hampshire. There's some Vermont, Connecticut, and New York in there as well. Really neat. It's too bad they weren't in better condition. It'd be uh, be an awesome find, but still cool nonetheless. 
Dan got a couple of nice dairy crates too. And that killer um, little sign plate or whatever it was that he found. It's really cool. So anyway, we're probably gonna go get some lunch. And maybe find another spot after. I did want to go see what that cast iron thing was that was in the ground over here. Oh yeah, this, I don't know if we had that on video or not, but... <laughs> Spring 1949, this thing. The award thing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Very cool. <laughs> that is neat. Find of the day so far. It's just all newer junk. Let's see if I can get at that. Oh, taxi. <laughs> 64 taxi. Oh, wow. Like I said, that's just the plates that we pulled out. There's probably a ton more. See, there's another one right up there. Right up there. Alright, where is this thing right here? Oh, it's an old sewing machine sewing machine pedal. It's got the feet on it. That's neat. Feet stars. How cool is that? It's too bad it's busted up. Sorrento says on it. It's kind of cool. And like I said, it's too bad it's broken. Actually, that part would be worth saving. Yeah, maybe we could get that off. We might take that. Alright guys, thanks for joining. And uh, we'll shoot another video as soon as we find something else.